Assalamualaikum everyone. Today's lecture will be X-ray photolithography. So here's the content of the lecture today. So basically the process of a lithographic process for um, photolithography, X-ray lithography and electron beam lithography is almost the same. So you start with the layer of um, photoresis and then you perform the printing and development of the uh, circuit uh, and finally you etch uh, the parts, the, the photoresis in order to get the product. So the difference might be in the source of the uh, light that used during the process. For example, the, photo, the photolithography, uh, UV light is used and for the X-ray lithography, uh, X-ray lights will be used. So what is uh, X-ray lithography? Uh, X-ray lithography process uh, uses X-ray to transfer a geometric pattern from a mask to a light-sensitive chemical photoresist on the substrate. So in photoresis, if you if you remember, uh, we use the UV light to transfer the pattern. So in this X-ray, of course, we are going to use X-ray to, uh, to transfer the uh, pattern on the photoresist. So this X-ray have a shorter wavelength compared to the UV, which is uh, less than 1 nanometer wavelength. So the distance for the wavelength is uh, shorter compared to the UV one. There are two sources of X-ray uh, that can be generated for in the X-ray lithography. One is electron impact X-ray sources. In this method, to generate the um, to generate the X-ray, the electron beam is accelerated at the high energy by the metal anode, and then it strikes the target X, uh, and X-ray are emitted. Another source of X-ray is synchrotron X-ray source. So in a synchrotron uh, X-ray source, uh, a synchrotron is uh, an extreme, uh, extremely powerful source of X-ray. So the ray, uh, the X-ray are produced by high energy electron and then they, uh, they circulate around the synchrotron. So when a moving electron change direction, it will emit energy. And when an uh, electron is moving fast enough, they will in, uh, emit energy at X-ray wavelength. So it's a synchrotron machine exists to accelerate a, uh, electron to extremely high energy and then make them change direction periodically. So the resulting X-ray are emitted as dozen of thin beam, each directed toward the beam line next to the accelerator. So this one we are going to see the picture on how to, the X-ray source uh, is generated from the synchrotron. So this picture showing the synchrotron X-ray uh, source device. Okay, so uh, if you can see from the picture from uh, in, in the right, okay, so electro high energy electron will go from one to two and then change direction and uh, move towards the three and then going into the 4 level until it reach the 5 where the uh, X-ray will be generated and the, uh, in, in form of uh, thin beam. So dozen of them will be generated uh, next to the accelerator. Okay. Due to the short wavelength, X-ray uh, provide increase in lateral resolution in the X-ray lithography, so penetrating power of X-ray deep in the photoresist uh, can be used. So, therefore, it has great high and high aspect ratio of the end product. Picture uh, below shows uh, the example of the product uh, that produced through X-ray lithography. The mass of the uh, for for the X-ray lithography consists of X-ray absorber. So usually the material is gold or compound of tantalum or tungsten which uh, plays on a membrane that is transparent to X-ray which uh, usually uh, the typical material is silicon carbide or diamond. Okay, so the pattern on the mask is written by direct 
uh, right from electron beam lithography. So if you can remember, the mass for the photolithography is produced through uh, X-ray lithography. And X-ray lithography is uh, mass is uh, produced using the electron beam lithography. So it goes a level higher uh, for the mass to be produced. Okay, so uh, the membrane can be stretched for overlay accuracy. So if you can see the picture shows uh, on the top left is the X-ray mass and then after the X-ray replication and lift off uh, the, the, the layer that uh, produced is shown in the right. So if you can see it still maintain the, the accuracy of the uh, part uh, from the mass to the product to the, um, to, to the replication. So this one also, it can also penetrate uh, higher enough into the uh, resist. So if the, the, the photoresist is um, thick, it still can go inside. Okay, so it can go uh, and produce higher, uh, thicker, thicker, uh, uh, go, uh, go deeper into the photoresist. So for the procedure of X-ray photolithography, uh, compared to the uh, photolithography, the, in this uh, process, in the X-ray photolithography, PMMA, uh, which is plas uh, plastic polymethyl metachloride, is used as the uh, surface for, uh, uh, is applied on the surface of the silicon wafer. So PMMA uh, usually harden when contact with the X-ray. So X-ray must is applied on top of the silicon wafer before the exposure. So then uh, the absorber uh, and membrane and also uh, going through the syn uh, synchrotron radiation uh, and then uh, which around 0 0.2 to 2 nanometer and there'll be gap between substrate and mass uh, if you can see from the picture on the right. So um, uh, this one will be explained in the next slide. There is gap between the uh, <coughs> the mass and also the um, photoresist because uh, because um, for X-ray lithography proximity mass uh, need to be used. It is not projection like the optical uh, 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 like photolithography the 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 one that we see previously. So the advantage of X-ray lithography is uh, it has less diffraction effect due to the uh, wavelength of the the short wavelength of the X-ray itself. So it, it can uh, produce high resolution uh, printing, and then large area or large depth of focus uh, can be uh, can be obtained from from X-ray lithography, like I mentioned previously. So, for example, this is the, the pattern that produced by the X-ray uh, photolithography. Uh, it can go deeper into the resist compared to the uh, the one uh, the optic uh, the photolithography used uh, the, by using the UV light. However, X-ray lithography have some limitations. For example, uh, thin lens need to to be used in the process. And some distortion in the absorber also might happen. Uh, or distortion in the absorber uh, in the mass also can happen during the process. And it cannot be focused through lens. So there is no focus like in the projection uh, uh, projection uh, process. And mass are very expensive to produce because you have to produce using the electron beam uh, photolithography. Uh, so that one is very expensive and take a long time. So it's quite expensive to produce the mass. So some application of the X-ray lithography are like mass preparation for photolithography process. And another one that I found is a tilted pillar microfluidic channel produced by the Texas Instrument. So if, uh, this is uh, showing the SEM. Uh, picture of the uh, micro pillar, uh, micro uh, the pillar micro micro fluidic channel. Um, so if you can see here, it's very very fine. Okay.
uh, here also there is stray lithography uh, video for you to refer to so that's the end of extra lithography so we're going to go for the other uh, part of lithography in the next uh, topic